later on, or about, oh, about quarter past 20 past that, we always do our big Lincolnshire group chat. This is where we basically raid the Facebook groups of Lincolnshire. You'll know how entertaining these Facebook groups can be with some of the questions you get and some of the answers and some of the comments. And some people like, like to have a laugh in there. Some people ask serious questions and want to help. This was one that we stumbled across the other day. And it got us thinking. Uh, Darren in Sleaford, this was from. I'm thinking of buying a magic set for my 10-year-old son for Christmas. Can anyone recommend a good starter box? He's got a few tricks and enjoys doing them. So I want to get him something else. And there are so many. And we thought, well, we need, we need to find out from someone who knows about magic. Uh, and here he is, uh, linkage magician Scott Perry from Sleaford. Morning, Scott. You're right. Uh, yes, good morning. How are you? I'm very well, I'm very well. Now, uh, yeah, I used to have a Paul Daniels magic set, and I have to say, I'd, I wore it out, because uh, it had a box with a mirror in it that you could put your hand in and you, you could make things disappear, and I think it was one of the best presents I ever got. I don't know, I wouldn't know now, what are the magic sets on offer? Is it, a, is it still a big thing? Uh, it definitely still is a big thing. Uh, I still have my my Paul Daniels magic set as well, uh, but I would say that um, one of the one of the brands that has stood the test of time in terms of magic sets is one that's called Marvin's Magic. So Marvin's Magic, uh, it has been based in the toy store in London, Hamleys, for decades now, and is a very good choice when it comes to beginner magic sets. Oh, that's good. I think I bought one of those for one of my nieces, and it had, like, loads of little tricks in that you could do. And, it, I mean, and it's... What is not to like about doing tricks? Because everybody wants to, like, fool somebody, don't they? And then see the reaction and go, how do you do that? It's great fun, isn't it? Exactly. I, I always say, no matter what event I'm at, um, whether it's a gala dinner or, or a smaller event or a wedding, I always say that everyone in life should know at least one magic trick because whether you're on a first date or whether you're um, with family or or any occasion a magic trick always spices up the event a little bit more that's that, i'll tell you what that's adventurous of a, a magic trick on the first day i know some people have been on first dates and the other dates disappeared but <laughs> <laughs> well also <laughs> Also, I've taught friends magic tricks, and they, they are the ones who have ended up getting the promotion at work. Uh, oh, because, yeah. of course, all of the applicants are qualified, but the boss thinks that they are the most interesting person. And uh, and that's the thing that the boss has liked, that they've been a bit different, and they've, well, they, they've, they've been, been able to offer... They've done a magic trick on. in the middle of a job interview. Um, yes, because <laughs> sometimes... Sometimes employers ask if there's if there's anything anything else they want to tell them or if they have any any other interests and then they say magic and that that often makes you makes you a person of interest. Um, I think it's often a very curious thing that people want to know more about. Well, yeah, and then when you're looking at the end of the day, all the applicants you go, "Oh, that was the magic person." Uh, that's going to work, isn't it? <laughs> exactly. It, it's it's something in life that if if you can do a magic trick really well. Um, it certainly makes you stand out from from other people. Have you got any sort of top tips for people who are, are sort of starting out in the in the magic world? If that even is a thing, I don't know. Or is it just something that you sort of do as a hobby and it becomes a job? I don't know. Uh, I I think magic is unique in that way. So there is no guidebook. Uh, you know, for for most professions, most jobs, you have to go to college, university. Uh, you, you start your internship and there's a, there's a there's a defined path. But with magic, everyone makes their way in their own way. Uh, and I think that's what, what makes every magician very different and very unique from each other. So I, I would say um, my, my advice would be probably to uh, go to a local library. Uh, you know, local libraries are, are still alive just... And uh, I have great memories of uh, growing up in Lincolnshire and the, the mobile library coming um, once a fortnight and, and, I, and she would have brand new magic books for oh, me. Oh, that is good. I like that. This is great. Producer Williams here as well. Yeah, I like that. I like what you say about um, doing it on a date. Yeah. I did one at our... Oh, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> a, a, on a date? No, what? not on a date, but <laughs> I, did it, I did it at our, our, our wedding party as a, part of a speech. And I said, uh, I said, I, 
Uh, I spoke about how we got together and everything. And I said, I showed my wife something on that first night and she couldn't believe it. And she said, I'd like to see it again, please. And so at that point, at that point, I got my little hanky that I placed in the palm of one hand and then magically it vanished. It vanished. Uh, so I did a little magic. So I, I, I'm like you. I did the Paul Daniel stuff. And uh, and Marvin's magic, I've got had some of that. And I love watching them in Hamleys if I go yeah. there. It's very good. Well, look, this is great. This is very interesting. Now, look, are, are, we, st are we having lots of people around on Friday, William? Is that the plan for the programme? Yeah, yeah, it would be nice to have a party on Friday, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a sort of of Christmas, yeah. end of school term yeah, yeah. <laughs> Christmas party. Are you free on Friday at breakfast time at all, Scott? Oh, he's frozen. He's, he's literally disappeared, William. He's, he's stuck. Is that a trick? Is it a trick or is it real? No, I think he has. Oh, he's back. <laughs> we couldn't tell whether that was a... You had turned into a statue oh, there for a minute, uh, Scott. <laughs> yeah. It was the Zoom link. We're, watch, we're watching Scott on a, on a, on a Zoom link. Uh, yeah, we're just having a little a breakfast show Christmas party on Saturday, uh, Friday morning. Could, would you be free? Uh, absolutely. We, we broke up a little bit there, but... Uh, Yes, uh, I I think so. On on Friday morning, that that's we can we can put that in a diary. Oh yeah. Now, could you do? Because the thing is, we could. You get can't ask a magician what to come on the radio. Why? <laughs> I mean, I know we're talking to Scott now. He can't because he can't because if you you want him to do some magic, don't you? And we can't. I mean, you can say anything on the radio. You can't. Oh, you can't can do magic just, on the radio. We can say he's done an amazing trick and no one can see it, so they just have to take our word for it. Can you do magic on the radio? Uh, I think there's, uh, of course, uh, the radio is is a very difficult place uh, to perform magic where people, where listeners will enjoy it. But I think there's a couple of things that I could probably do um, that, that would work. Special radio magic tricks. We like this. We like this, Scott. Right, we'll see you on Friday morning then. Thanks, thanks for coming on the Marvin's Magic set. That's the one people want. That, that that would be my advice, yes. Brilliant. Excellent. We shall see you on Friday, Scott. Thank you very much. Uh, that is our magic man, uh, Scott Perry from Sleaford. Uh, that was interesting what he said about get a, do a magic trick in the middle of your job interview. <laughs> I like the idea of that. That would make you stand out. So, yeah, we've got our magician booked. We're having a sort of, a sort of end of term, end of school, just on the eve of Christmas party on uh, BBC Radio Link on the Breakfast Show on Friday. So we've got a magician and he says he thinks he can do a trick that will work on the radio, even though you won't be able to see it. Now, that is magic, isn't it? Uh, that's coming up this Friday. Coming up today, Fran is with you from 10 this morning.